Okay, so welcome to our fourth video or fourth artwork in art appreciation. And today we will be learning about um, finger painting or uh, finger art. Who is the proponent and when did it started? And let's uh, see the examples that was prepared here. Okay, so finger painting, finger art, artwork number four. Still, um, I want your picture sent in the LMS. Okay, for the finger painting, it is usually applied, uh, of course, with your fingers, but it's not limited only with the use of fingers. You can use your arms and other parts of the body as long as the finger is very dominant as the medium to how you put the, the or how you make the art or create the art. So sometimes uh, expert painters or the, the artists use their lower hands or arms as well. And uh, it is used because of, well, it gives the, the artwork a sense of detailed and more uh, stable in terms of uh, the clarity of the, the work. And uh, the external tools that we use aside from our fingers and uh, body is uh, we can use sponge as well to well give details in some of the objects that you are uh, creating. You can use also cloth to clean the the edges of your drawing, for example, and other tools that you wanted to to use. As long as again. Uh, 80 to 90% you're still using your fingers. So you're not limiting yourselves only with fingers but with, with other tools as well to, to help you create with, with the artwork. But the reason why it's called finger painting because mainly you use dominantly your fingers to, to draw or to, to paint your painting. And who is the proponent for this or who, who started this kind of uh, technique in painting. We have here Ruth Faison Shaw. He or she is rather an American educator and she was the only person who started the, the finger painting and popularized it in in uh, 1900s. So she developed the technique in Rome, Italy, then started to, to create her own artworks. And then later on, she, she went back to the uh, U.S. to, to make uh, her artwork known for the people. And she succeeded. And after she was uh, known for her, art, her artwork already, you know, she devoted her attention to the benefits of this kind of painting because she believed that uh, uh, in making or creating your artwork uh, with the use of your fingers, it, it gives you benefit like uh, in your mind or a therapy in, in yourself. No? It's a, it has therapeutic benefits uh, in terms of uh, creating this uh, painting. So let's take a look at the, some of the works of Ruth Faison Shaw. We have here um, some sort of environment. No? So with the use of her uh, fingers, she created uh, a deer-like structure and an environment as well as the trees and the forests. 
and also perhaps that's that's a lake no so we can see here a the signature of of the artist no so to make it more um, original we also have again uh, forest i think with the use of her fingers still she created an artwork with the use of her fingers created a forest trees um, also in the next uh, example still with the use of her fingers she created the tree like structure that's uh, in 1963 this uh, artwork was made so Ruth is fond of uh, creating nature because uh, she believed that it, it gives therapeutic benefits in, 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 in her. No? Again, still in the nature theme, um, I think it's underwater. We have the seahorse, the fish, and um, the corals with the signature of uh, Ruth at the bottom. Now let's take a look at the video of uh, some artists in, in, I think this is in Mexico. Well, uh, properly the, the art uh, or the finger painting is now known uh, in the streets because some artists are now uh, creating their own art uh, using the finger paint in the streets of some some streets in Mexico and Puerto Rico. So if you're a tourist and so happen to to visit the place, there's a lot of artists there in the streets that are creating their art, the use of finger painting. We can see here that the, the hands of the artist is very fast. And I think the artist is creating a, a sky. I suggest you, you, you use uh, oil, oil-based paint because it's easier to to spread. So we will not be using any oil pastel because it's it's um, we we cannot spread that in our hands. It's very difficult. It's it's dry. Again, the artist is using cloth to clear the, the paint. So you're not limiting yourself only with the use of your hands or fingers, but with the use of external tools, such as a sponge and cloth, as we discussed earlier. So the artist is now using multiple layers of, of uh, colors.
So we can now cl uh, clearly see the the artwork of the artist. So she is trying to create a scenery in the beach. Look at those waves. She's now trying to put details like trees in sand. Okay, so she used another external tool to give um, lines, perfect lines. I think she's uh, creating a coconut tree or palm tree. She's not trying to give details with the use of external tools. And that's a very good attempt. She's now putting borders. Okay, so that's it, guys. Okay, so it's your time to create your own artwork. Kindly send that in the LMS. Take a picture, scan your, your artwork. Thank you very much. I hope you learned something today.